What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles, coming to you on location at the Conrad, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today I want to do a response video from a channel called Dugras Reports. Now I do want to add that Dugras is another credit card creator and he is very close to 1,000 subscriptions. So I will link his video below. Do him a favor, check out the video. Comment, tell him what you think. It's a very interesting topic. And if you like what he's doing, give him a sub. Now, Dugras is suffering from what he calls a possible points and miles burnout. I would really characterize this as a points and miles fatigue because I don't think he's quite burnt out yet, but there are things about the points and miles game that can be exhausting and frustrating at times. So he mentioned me in the video and I just wanted to respond and kind of give him my perspective on things. If you are a fan of the channel, you do know that I generally have a somewhat different perspective than a lot of people. But before we do that, if you are new here, I'm Luke and I talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back and travel. If you're interested in that sort of thing, slap that subscribe button. And if you get any value at all out of this video, hit that like button for me and the YouTube algorithm. With all that out of the way, let's get right into it. I'm going to use my phone because I actually took some notes while watching his video. And as you can see, this is a little bit different background than what we're used to. I'm actually in the Conrad Fort Lauderdale right now. My wife and little boy are at the beach. So I'm taking a few minutes to get some work done. So Dugras, like I said, is almost at 1000 subscribers. And I think that might contribute to some of the anxiety because running a YouTube channel is not as easy as everyone thinks it is. And getting that 1,000 subscribers is not easy either. He says he's just not enjoying the game. And that's understandable. It's a lot of research. It's a lot of work just to get a really good setup. And I think maybe he's trying to be perfect. No one's perfect. We're in the points and miles game to enjoy rewards. So I think maybe he does mention simplifying his setup for a certain period of time. And I think it's a great idea. He mentions YouTubers getting burnt out on the credit card game and just dropping off the face of the earth. And there are quite a few examples of that, but I do think that's more of a YouTube problem than a credit card points and miles issue. YouTube is hard. I've had some hard jobs in my life and YouTube is definitely a tough business. You have a lot of self-imposed expectations and a lot of things you want to do and it's just not as easy as you think it is. You also have the occasional crazy comment and I don't care who you are. Some of them are funny, but some of them are downright hurtful. So maybe he's experienced some of that. But I think with YouTube, I think you have to have realistic expectations and you really have to celebrate the very small wins and victories. If you get 250 subscribers in one month, I think you need to celebrate that. Also, the structure of the whole thing may help. Some people will do YouTube and they will try to crank out as many videos as they can. I think if you have a short, intermediate, and long-term plan and a certain schedule, it could be a little easier to make that less stressful. Dugras says he needs something to refresh. And I think this is gonna be in the YouTube world and the points and miles world and probably also in his personal life. He does mention that life is a, not quite as exciting and he does live in Iowa. I wanna point that out. He does mention that it is increasingly more difficult to meet ends meet. But I do think once you reach that 1,000 subscriber and you get into the YouTube partner program, you could get a little additional income every month. He also says that he has not traveled much lately. I will tell you my strategy when it comes to, to living in the Midwest in wintertime. Surviving the winter in the Midwest is difficult, especially I'm thinking in Iowa. A lot of snow, a lot less activity. This is my number one strategy to surviving winters in the Midwest. Look around. I come to South Florida and I am a big believer that two nights, three nights in South Florida can completely reset that clock. He also states that he works from home and in my opinion, that could be a little tedious and a little redundant maybe. Working from home would probably be difficult if you ask me. But Dugras, I do have a prescription for you and that prescription is come to South Florida for as little as two or three nights every few months, especially in the winter time. Now, you don't have to stay at the Conrad Fort Lauderdale. There are Courtyard Marriott's right down the street. There's a A-Loft by Marriott right down the street. There are a half a dozen much more affordable 
properties that are right off the beach that can bring you plenty of sunshine, plenty of beach time, and plenty of fun with your family. I think when you start incorporating those relatively short trips regularly, that whole Midwestern winter is a little easier to combat. My second prescription, keep grinding and get that 1,000 YouTube subscribers. Getting a paycheck from Google, even if it's 20 bucks next month when you're in the partner program, can really do a lot to help the motivation and help keep things running. Also, the structure. I am a mission-oriented uh, military type person and I like to have a lot of structure and I want a clear concise mission I want the tools to succeed I want a medal at the end and then I want another mission if you watch my channel every quarter I have a mission or a strategy every quarter it's a different mission or a different strategy this quarter it's cash back the last two quarters it's been to accumulate as many transferable currencies as possible now when i accumulate those transferable currencies i schedule travel how i see my youtube strategy is i put in this work but every few weeks i'm constantly being rewarded by taking my son to the beach or taking my wife to a big time saint patrick's day celebration and again they don't have to be long trips i am the supreme commander of very short trips a lot of my trips are only two nights and I also don't have a job where I can travel, but I do have a job where I have enough discretionary time off that I can do some of these things. But at the same time, when I'm traveling, I'm doing YouTube and I'm working a full-time job and being a full-time dad and husband, I don't have a whole lot of time for anything else. So I do run that risk of fatigue or burnout. And how I combat that is rewards. What I'm doing right now sitting in South Florida is a huge reward for me, especially it's, I'm sure my weather in Ohio is the same as it is in Iowa. It's dark, it's cool, it's rainy. It's not like that here. So to sum it all up, Dugross, I want you to keep grinding, but reward yourself. Take those kids down to South Florida or anywhere that is relaxing and doesn't remind you of Iowa. I think the other only alternative is to switch to a really basic cashback setup like RJ, and we don't wanna do that. I also think the small, quick trips, like the one I'm doing right now, it also allows me to stay motivated because I am spending those points and miles and they're not adding up. And it works well enough, I don't even mind stopping what I'm doing to record a video for a few minutes. And I really won't mind putting my headphones in and editing this video later. So I think the missing equation in this whole thing is rewarding yourself now as for me do i ever suffer from points and miles fatigue or points and miles burnout no and that's because of my motivations my motivations are to take my son as many places i can to make him a more well-rounded individual and to give him the experiences that he needs to be a citizen of the world so no i actually can't afford to get burnt out or get fatigued because this is how I do it. I don't make a ton of money. I'm a working stiff and I would not be able to travel like this if not for the points and miles game. I will link another video in the comments and that is a video on your credit card why. I think that's very important when you're talking about the longevity of playing this game. If you have a strong why, this gets much easier and much more enjoyable. And obviously your why is gonna change several times over the course of your life. Anyway, Dugross, I wish you luck on your channel. I think you put out great content and I think you're gonna hit that 1,000 subs and get a big paycheck real soon. That's all for me today. If you have time, check out my links in the description. I have links for Rakuten, credit cards, and all kinds of goodies. If you do use my links, the channel benefits and I greatly appreciate it. Guys, if you stayed around all the way to the end, I thank you and I appreciate every single one of you.